Hi friends, I want to share how to freeze sweet potatoes. Um, our local food bank gives me the extra that they have and I distribute it. And today I got about eight cases of these yams. Well, actually sweet potatoes. You can do the same thing with yams. So you cut them up, get the anything that isn't nice looking on them off. And then I wash them and you can roast them in roasting pans. But because I had so many, I lined uh, cookie sheets with foil, um, cut these lengthwise into four just so they cook more evenly because some of them are big and round and some of them are longer and thin. So just kind of make them uh, uniform sizes so that they bake more evenly so that you can mash them. So uh, wash them. Take off any bad spots, cut them in, I cut them in four quarters. Um, you can see there's like different round sizes, bigger sizes. And then uh, put them in something to roast them. I Like I said, I had two cookie sheets in the oven that were piled high with this entire thing, except these were the ones I had left over. Um, I'll just cook in the microwave. Then what you do is, um, once they're cooked, I put them in a large bowl and mash them with salt and pepper and... Uh, butter and then I ladle them <laughs> kind of spoon them into uh, these dishes these containers you can buy at Walmart and they're BPA free and I freeze them all the time with rice and squash and yams and sweet potatoes in them and uh, cuz I live alone and so I don't want to make I don't want to cook put the oven on to make smaller ones when I have this stuff for free so um, I, this two large cookie sheets made four, eight, nine, nine containers, and that and that was almost a case of sweet potatoes. This is what was left of the sweet potato, and you can see this container was not from inside there. I buy sweet potatoes, and we'll just microwave them in a potato bag um, all the time because I actually like sweet potatoes. So to get a case for free when they're a buck fifty a pound or a buck thirty a pound is a huge blessing and so now I have them in the freezer stacked up for the next year. <laughs> those, will, those will probably last me to through Thanksgiving and Christmas because we have sweet potatoes at Thanksgiving and Christmas. So I also do this with squash at the end of the season if I have a lot of squash in my yard or I get can buy them cheap. I do the same thing with squash. I roast them and then I'll butter and salt and pepper and stick them in these containers, label them and date them, and I'll put them in the freezer and pull them out for Thanksgiving and Christmas so that I don't have to take the oven space because I only have one oven. So um, anyway, that's how I do it. Um, and I always, like I said, put the butter and salt and pepper in them first, and then you can salt to taste afterwards. But that way I can just pull them out and have them ready really quick um, over the holidays and when I want to eat them myself. Uh, check out my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com. I will put more drip description and pictures there in there and um if you like this thumbs up subscribe click notifications appreciate you watching hope you have a blessed day